Welcome to this instructional video covering the online Entembra panel configurator. This video will cover configuration of and how to order an Entembra button panel with engraving. First, go to philips.com slash Entembra in your web browser. The URL for this page can also be found in the description of this video. On this page, there are two options to choose from, either to configure an Entembra panel for Philips Dynalite or for a Philips Color Kinetic System. Philips Dynalite will be selected for this video. Next, the configuration tool will open. First, accept the terms and conditions. Here, the left side of the screen will display an Entembra with three control buttons. The halo button toggles the backlit effect available with Entembra panels. By selecting the orientation button, the panel can be viewed in 3D and displays the rim. By clicking the background button, the backgrounds will change, displaying how the panel would look mounted on walls in various colors. Next, the right side of the page displays multiple options to choose from in order to customize an Entembra panel. First, select Yes to order a spare part or No to order a complete Entembra panel. Something important to note is that when ordering a spare part, only the fascia of the panel will be delivered. Today's demonstration includes ordering a full panel, so the button will be set to No. Next is selecting the product type. Here the options are either a square European panel or an American rectangular style panel. For this demo, we'll choose European. In the next field, select between an Entembra display, touch, or button. The next step is choosing the mounting position of the panel, portrait, or landscape. For an Entembra button, select from a 2, 4, or 6 button configuration. Here we'll choose the 4 button option. For the button color, the first option is to choose from a flare or corona finish. The corona finish is available in three colors, white, silver, and magnesium. With a flare finish, six different colors are available. Here we'll select aluminium. Depending on the button color selected, rim color options will then appear. Here, chrome is chosen. If engraving isn't requested for this panel, the configuration would be complete at this point. But for this demo, at the bottom of the page, we can now see the product code for this configuration. If labeling has been requested, select the Labels button. In order to view the labeling options more clearly, click the Orientation button and select Frontal. Next, choose from three different layouts for the labeling. They are Single with one text box per button, Double with two text boxes per button, or Triple with one text box per button and one in the middle between the two buttons. This demonstration includes the double layout. From here, labeling can begin. After selecting the button labeling area on the panel, labeling options will appear on the right. For every location, text or icons can be selected, or clearing the location can be chosen instead. If the icon button is selected, nine different icon groups will appear. Each of these groups has a range of options to choose from. Here we'll select Control, and then the first icon is selected. Using the slider, the icons can be sized from small to large. In the next field, text can be input by typing it in. Next, a range of fonts supporting multiple languages will appear. The font can also be recreated as bold or italic. And again, the slider can be used to change the size of the text. We also have the option to align the text to the right side, left side, or center it again. Once the labeling has been completed, you'll need to download the new design. Click the Download Your Design button. A dialog box will appear where the panel should be named. This will download the PDF to your local computer. Once opened, the engraving details for the panel will appear. Also seen here are the part number or the product code and the 12NC for this configuration. 
For this demo, we'll copy the 12NC into the order email to signify. The product code should also be added to the order. So copy the product code from the PDF into the email. Finally, make sure to include the panel name in the order to signify. Additionally, prior to sending out the order email, make sure to attach the engraving PDF so that the factory will receive the correct labeling instructions for the newly designed Antumbra panel. Copy the engraving PDF from downloads and attach it to the order email, which will then be ready to send to signify. Thanks for joining this instructional video covering the Antumbra Configurator tool and ordering a labeled panel.